Okay, that was uh, that was a heck of a victory. Uh, really proud of our our guys. They uh, battled through adversity and during the week weren't sure who was going to be able to play, who was. Uh, some did, some didn't, but together they found a way to win the game. So I'm really proud of them. I'll try to answer anything I can. Greg, the adjustments that you made defensively, I think you had a, another defensive back, but then Powell and Singleton really stepping up. I mean, just talk about how you were able to deal with that adversity when you're missing three starting linebackers. Yeah, it's really about uh, coaching and playing because there wasn't any great schematic adjustments. I mean, that's what we, that's kind of what we play. Um, I think Singleton and Powell really stepped up big. Um, had to, right, for, for it to be a three-point three total. And um, they did a heck of a job, you know, as I talked to our team about, don't tell me what we don't have. We got our entire D-line, right? So we had our entire D-line there. Uh, we have our secondary. We were just we were missing every linebacker, you know, our starting linebackers. So let's find a way to, to do it. And... Uh, I thought our kids did a really, really good job, and I think their coaches did too. Really, you know, when you're getting new guys ready to play, a significant role. It's not like they haven't played, right? But the significant role like they did, and neither one of them, it was certainly wasn't too big for them. Just the, when you think about your, uh, your old line, I might watch the film to get a better idea, but especially after Gus went in at center and Nick's little, but what you guys, what you think of the way they played? Yeah, they, you know, I thought it's hard to tell, like you said, from the field, but. You know, we were able to run the ball with some effectiveness. We need to, um, you know, we need to look real hard at what are we doing best right now, and let's let's really dive into that. Um, again, when you're building something, you know, it's kind of the roller coaster, right? We've been, we were at the bottom of the roller coaster. Now this feels good, but we need to find consistency, and that's that's what building a program is about. But I'm excited. We're we're five and five. You know, we're four and four. We're three and three. Like it's kind of our guys are fighting, and let's see where we. You know, we, we wanted to be able to write that story at the end of the year. We got a chance, so now we'll see what see what we do. Was that when you talked about last week about playing in the lead? What you kind of envisioned? Jump on them early and kind of control from there. Yeah, that was. You know, it's always a good way to play the game if you can. Right? It kind of dictates a little bit, and you know they've had some injuries at quarterback, so they're trying some different guys at quarterback. You know, and. We knew that that the uh, Tuttle might play, and uh, he, uh, you know, he did actually the third series he came in. So look, it. We're really proud of our guys. They prepared really well, and they had a great energy today. You know, it wasn't a, you know, a, a crazy atmosphere by any means. But our guys brought their own energy, and I, I think that's important. Greg, I asked you about the, your road success back in October. I think you said it might have been chance at that point, and if it was a recurring theme, you'd examine it. Uh, you have the Illinois win a couple uh, weeks ago, and then now this. I mean, you know, what do you make of just how you've been able to kind of play your best football on, on the road? Yeah. Again, I think there's a lot of reasons to it, but look, we'll take them. We get them at home. Take them. We get them on the road. Right. We need. To, we need. We need to find a way to win games. Um, <coughs> but yeah, overall. I thought it was productive. Does it come from like a mature team though sometimes? Sometimes, you know, is that just... You know, I don't, I don't know. You know, you think a mature team would be able to do it at home too. I think, like I said, part of it's scheduling, yeah. right? Just the luck of the draw. Um, but we, I really, really liked our energy today. That was something that I was very uh, aware of and I told them I was really going to be watching for. And I thought our, our guys stepped up in a big way. You could feel a difference all day. And I was proud of them for that. How relieving is, I guess, to come in here and not have to deal with Noah and injury questions? Mm -hmm. Well, questions. I'm just relieved for him, right? Because, you know, that's that's not that's scary when two weeks in a row he leaves the game, you know, he returns to one, he doesn't return to the other. Uh, but our medical people, I thought, did a great job. Um, and, you know, it, again, that's what makes it hard because they are very, very straightforward with me. Hey, there's a chance, but we can't tell you, guarantee it. We didn't know. You know, we didn't know all week. You guys know that. We didn't know who was going to be there. And we didn't know about, you know, fully about the linebackers till later in the week. So that's what you got to do. In November, that's November football, right? It is, it's the end of a, a long, tough Big Ten season, and there's going to be guys that are bumped. But that's where recruiting is so critical when you're building a program because there's that guy that nobody really knows that much about. But... Here he comes when he gets his chance. Right? And that's what we have to continue to do at every position.
I think you shook Lusari's hand after the, was, is he what you're referring to, I guess, there, one of those guys? Well, actually, it's because I ripped his rear end okay. for not playing the ball on that personal foul. Okay. So when he played the ball and he went and knocked it down, I said, that's what happens when you play the ball as a, as a free safety, as a post safety. And he knows better. He's Joe's a good player. And uh, I just, you know, you better, when you rip them one time, you better hug them up another time, right, when they do it, do it the right way. Coach, how much do you how much do you preach turnovers in practice and to try to get those? Because that, that was a big that was a big factor in game, today's game. Yeah, I would say it's the biggest factor in today's game, um, and we work on it all the time. But we've had a drought, and that's kind of you know, over the years we've always been able to be pretty consistent with taking the ball away, and we've had a drought like we've never had in our times together. The last what four or five weeks, it's been really bad. So. We get six today. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you figure? But you just keep working on it every single day. Yeah, it's an important part of our preparation. Can you um, you remember a more satisfying defensive performance considering the circumstances with the injuries, the, six, the five turnovers on defense specifically, and then the one for fourteen on, on third down, and all the things that you always talk about as keys. Can you remember a more satisfying defensive performance? Yeah, it was really really a great job. Great job by the players and by the coaches. They worked their tails off to get this game plan. Um, as close to, you know, as comfortable as they could feel before the game and literally do, putting in extra time. I was proud of them. I mean, that's, you love when the guys put in that extra work and then it pays off, right? Because otherwise it's, it's hard for them to swallow. So I, I was super happy for them. Did you, um, with Gavin playing, did you kind of get what you were hoping to get in that yeah, I just, I, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to play him today and uh, didn't know how it was going to come out. We always have these thoughts and plans, but when you let that dictate the game, you know, the game's the most important thing. And then, you know, we were able to do that. So winning the game, I should say, is the most important thing. Kristen Sarge, the third down defense has been consistent all year, consistently strong. What, what do you think is the biggest factor in that? What is key to keeping that as well? You know, we've, it, it's, it's the coaches and the players for sure, right? Rob Smith and the defensive staff, and then all the players executing that. We've always had, you know, even when we way back, we we always, even when we weren't very good, we always played pretty good third down defense. It's something that a lot of our guys are passionate about, and um, you know, it's important stuff to get off the field. You know, to, we we treat it like a, a takeaway. You, know, you get off the field, it's like just like taking the ball away. You know, you get a punt. So, I've been asking you for two years about a bowl game. You're one win away now. You go one and zero. Oh, you go to a bowl game. Have you thought about, uh, you know? possibility and what that would mean to this program at this stage? Of course we've thought about it, but we have, you know, a big, big game against Penn State. And I know that we haven't done enough to become Penn State's rival, but that's what should happen in Big Ten football, right? It's Penn State and then three and a half hours or four hours away is Rutgers. We're the easternmost schools uh, along with Maryland. And that the only way they become our rival is if we play well enough to make it that way, and that takes years. But we haven't started yet. We got to get it going, right? So we got a huge game this week against Penn State, at Penn State, and uh, every everything we got is going to go into that. They're a good football team, really good, and uh, we're going to have to do everything we can to have a chance to win. But that's 100% of our focus is there now. So we, everybody knows, right? If you get to six, you get to go to a bowl game. Everybody knows that. That's not. So we just need to, we need to make sure that we are ready for a very good Penn State team at Penn State. I thought it was really cool. Our band is out here for a competition in Indianapolis, and we were able to work it out that they came up. And really, it was, you know, a couple times I looked up there. I think they probably couldn't have been further away, right? <laughs> But man, that was great. And then to be able to go over and sing the alma mater with them. And our cheer squad's always with us, but they mean so much. And uh, I know that the, the band and the cheer squad are working to build just like we are. Right? It's hard to build a band, but over time you can do it. And same thing with a cheer squad. It's hard to get the numbers you want and to be able to do it all. So we're all building this thing together, and uh, I'm really thankful for them being here.